For me, when I'm writing, um, and I mean, it's important on the last record as well, but even more so now, I think, is just the, the, the sense of melody and, and melody and rhythm and harmony and I think the sounds of the pieces. I just um, really try to my best to, to incorporate all my favorite sounds and melodic ideas, you know. I think Marshall's sense of melody it comes, is the first thing that comes to mind when I think about his music. Uh, he's such a melodic player and it's just a strong sense of invention with melody. Rhythmic integrity of his music is always really strong. You know, he's played a lot with Edmar Castaneda and, and that you know, Latin influence I feel like comes across in, in his music and in a really compelling way. Now this music on this record is, uh, I think it really kind of incorporates a lot of influences from, from all the from the other people that I work with and, and, and play with. And classical music is a big influence on my writing. A lot of the music has a, a larger scale to or, or a grander scale feeling to it in that he's written a lot of music that basically has multiple sections, movements, um, so it kind of has like a sweet feeling to it. And then the, the soloists on, this, on, on a lot of the pieces on this record solo over different, different sections of, of that piece. And the musicians on this record I think are uh, I mean, they're all world class and um, for me, I mean, Donnie's just like one of a kind. I mean, there's nobody else who plays like that, period. So. Um, uh, when I was writing this music, um, a lot of the different sections, I, could, I, mean, I could just hear him playing over. Having played with Marshall a lot over the years, feeling like I know his sound um, is, is great. It, it makes me feel like I have insight into, well, I've just had a lot of experience playing with him, so, he, so just hearing him play, hearing the music he's written, uh, talking about music with him, I feel, I feel like I have a good sense of, of what he's into and what he's hearing, and, and it does help me feel like I can jump into the situation and, and kind of have an idea of what he's looking for. And Adam, like all the musicians on this record, I mean, just which strikes me, so he's just so versatile. I mean, he can play kind of any style. So I think um, on this record, the music especially, it kind of draws from a, like a myriad of influences and, um, and he, he can fit right into all those styles. And then uh, on top of that, play like just amazing solos as well. These, uh these pieces have a lot of variety in, in terms of moods and they really kind of take you on a journey, you know, they tell a story. It's not your standard jazz where you have the head, solo's head out, you know. There's a, there's a lot of different uh, textures and moods that it takes you through. So I would think, even from a non-jazz musician, um, this music would be very inviting, you know. You don't have to understand all the, the complicated stuff to, to feel the story that it's telling. Um, Yasushi Nakamura, uh, for me, he brings a, uh, an intensity to like the to bass parts, um, especially in this stuff, which is just uh, I mean, rhythmically, and you can just, from I can hear and I can even see that he puts his entire body into it. The feeling, the music feels natural, so it's, it's really easy, and yeah, Marshall just plays great, so it's easy for me and us to uh, create the vibe and the music, so. Oh, a lot of emotion and soulfulness and um, expressiveness, the type of stuff that you really, um, that any, no matter what kind of music you're listening to, you want to hear those qualities because that's what moves you and what moves anybody. It's just when music has a lot of feeling to it. So besides the fact that he's sort of a trombone virtuoso and can do all those things on the instrument that, you know, will really satisfy instrumentalists, there's that human element of a lot of emotion and a, a, you know, a lot of drama and that really makes the music really fun to play. Eric Dube on drums, I mean, he can play straight ahead, Latin, anything, and he's also just incredibly musical. So, uh, I mean, all these musicians, it's just, uh, it's like just really a pleasure to, to be able to write music like this, you know, and I, when I sit and write at the piano or, and orchestrate things for the, the quintet, um, you know, I have a thing in, in mind, but sometimes, sometimes, especially with this music, I can't, um, I can't really write on the page you know, sometimes there's not a way to write on the page what I want. And these guys, you know, we rehearse for a few hours this music and then and all of a sudden it takes the form and they know exactly, for some reason they just know exactly what's going through my mind. And that's what all these guys are able to, to add on their own that, uh, that makes it, I think, so special.